What's good, what's good, what's good? It's rap mythology, the reincarnation of Ramakrishna, a yoga empath, kicking that brand new flavor in your ear, that brand new flavor in your ear. So we know with all this COVID shit going on right now, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of fear in the atmosphere, and I just wanted to talk about this shit because this is like the main energy that's going on, you know what I'm saying? This in the this in the atmosphere right now is this fear shit, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I get it, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? There is shit to worry about, you know what I'm saying? Um, with this vaccine and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Going to the hospital is dangerous right now, you know what I'm saying? You know, our kids is gonna go back to school and these niggas is talking about, you know, giving out vaccines and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They've been fucking making our kids vaccine, get vaccined or whatever before they go to school. But, you know, it's like these niggas might weaponize the, the vaccine and shit now. Who the fuck knows what the fuck these niggas is going to do? You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to talk about this, this fear shit and how you can get past a lot of your fear. Because, you know, we conscious and whatnot, a lot of us conscious people get, I see people get caught up in this shit sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, they're, they're fucking flooding you with this shit on the news. I don't even watch the news right now. You know what I'm saying? they flooding this shit on the news. It's all on YouTube, all over the media. Like, you can't get away from this shit right now. You kind of, as a conscious person right now, you kind of got to detach from the world almost, you know what I'm saying? But it's like still, when you walk into the store, you're in the elevator with people, like you can just see how shook people are, like people is mad scared. So I want to talk about how I got past my fear, you know what I'm saying? Like how I'm walking around here like, Fala! I'm walking around here like I'm one of the Smurfs and shit. Fala, la, 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 la. Fala! <laughs> you feel me? I'm just fucking in my own little world, having a good old time and shit, and I'm in the midst of all this fucking chaos. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But I took mad steps to get like that. I used to do like, you know what I'm saying, different things, these different techniques. And I didn't get this from nobody, so this is some new shit, you know what I'm saying? These different techniques, right, that I use to overcome my fear. Now, your primal fear of the dark, I think is... You know what I'm saying? It's a primal fear. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, this one kind of gets to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how tough you are. Like, you go somewhere where it's completely fucking dark, you know, you kind of on edge and shit. So, like, I started not, like, going to sleep with the lights off. That's a big one. Like, how many people out there can't go to sleep in their room without the lights off? You know what I'm saying? How many people can't go to sleep with the lights? Yeah, without the without the lights being on. I'm, I'm sorry, without the lights being on. I caught myself real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you can't go to sleep with your lights, you know what I'm saying? Not being on. They like they have to be on while you sleeping. That's like a bad sign right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So that's another way that you could um try to face your primal fear of the dark is by sleeping. With the lights off. That's basic. You know what I'm saying? Another one, right, that I used to do, right? Now, this is kind of how you can feel what it's like to be a soul. You know what I'm saying? This is, a, this is a good one right here. What it's like to be a soul. You know what I'm saying? So now, you try to go into a room. It's got to be dark. You know what I'm saying? Pitch black. You got to try to go into the darkest room possible. It might even have to be a closet. You understand what I'm saying? Where you can put your when you put your hand in front of your face, you can't see that shit. You know what I'm saying? And make yourself stay in that shit. You know what I'm saying? For like five minutes, ten minutes. I did this shit repeatedly for about I say like a week or two. I would just go in the room, close the door, have it fucking pitch black as possible, and just stand in the room of total darkness. And then you lose the sense of having your body. Like, you can't see your arms, you can't see your hands. All you can just see is just straight darkness and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you're, you're one with everything. You know what I'm saying? You're just one with the darkness. You understand what I'm saying? You feel what it's kind of like as a soul with no physical body. But you still have consciousness. You understand what I'm saying? That's a really good one. You know what I'm saying? Then... A few years later and shit like that, that, that one kind of, 
it worked a little bit. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was still, like, afraid, afraid of um, independence, I think, like, being, like, totally out of my own. I think I was, like, fearful of that, you know what I'm saying? Word. You know, losing family members, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get into my whole story, but I was scared of fucking, like, just going out fully on my own and shit and achieving, like, independence, and you know what I'm saying? There was a time in my life where I was kind of codependent, you know what I'm saying? Where I had to realize this about myself, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, after that realization, like, I've been on a fucking war mission to be, um, completely independent and shit, you know what I'm saying? Facts. So, right before I got to that point, though, where, like, you know what I'm saying? This is how I lost my fear, right? I started dealing with Anubis and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm heavy into Anubis. I did the video, I think. This is right when I did that, um, It's Dark and Hell is Hot decoded video, you know what I'm saying? I'm heavy into Anubis and shit. So I want to give Anubis an offering, you know what I'm saying? I gave him um, dark beer or whatever, and I had a prayer written out or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that I wanted to say to him, asking for a protection. I was going through all types of shit. I was tired of motherfuckers playing with my mind, you know what I'm saying? Just fuck with me in general, business all the way around, you know what I'm saying? I was sick and tired, son. I was sick and sick with fucking tired, word. So I'm like, I'm going into the fucking graveyard at night, you know what I'm saying? To fucking give a new business orphan. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm not scared. Like, I thought this shit was going to be a, a cakewalk. <laughs> I thought this shit was going to be a walk in the park. You be seeing the movies and shit, how they be running around the graveyard, like, playing and shit. I thought this shit was going to be easy, son. Nigga, son, I stepped foot into that graveyard, son. You got all the signs, no trespassing and all that shit when you first get there. You know what I'm saying? Chain fucking going across the fence and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Now, this graveyard is like four football fields long, mind you. It's like the biggest, one of the biggest graveyards like around my way and shit. You know what I'm saying? That I go into. So I go up in here, son. Yo, I'm fucking shook. You know what I'm saying? My fucking heart is like... Now, now, <laughs> when my ancestors is close, I can hear this high pitch frequency. It's like a boo, like I hear it. I can hear it now and shit. You know what I'm saying? When my ancestors is close by, when my spirit guys is close by, I hear this high pitch frequency. So when I'm in the graveyard, this shit is a blast, and sudden the frequency is like boo, like this shit is dumb loud. So I'm like, oh shit, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> There's probably mad shit around me and shit, son. I'm shook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I finally get enough courage. I find the biggest fucking grave up in there, son. I'm fucking scared to death walking through this shit. You know what I'm saying? Fighting them. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just facing that shit, son. Fighting my fucking fear. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just walking in fear, son. Like, fuck it. I'm going to just keep going on some courage shit. You know what I'm saying? I get to the biggest fucking grave I could find in the graveyard. So now I'm kind of like in, in the grave, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a good one football field in almost, you know what I'm saying? Shook. Did my little offering to Anubis and shit. I'm, I'm fucking mad, so I'm screaming at Anubis and shit like, I want my fucking protection, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm mad, this is an emotional moment and shit, you know what I'm saying? Boom, finished doing this shit. Now I got to leave the fucking graveyard. <laughs> Now I'm in the middle of this shit, I look around, nothing but graves everywhere and shit, you look around, son, there's nothing but graves and shit everywhere around I'm like, oh shit, son, I just start screaming, I'm trying to find my way, I'm running, trying to find my way out the graveyard, I'm like, Swami, protect me, Swami, protect me, Swami, protect me, I'm crying and shit, <laughs> I'm just screaming out, Swami, protect me, son. My sister-in-law be dying laughing at me. And when she see me and shit, she be like, Swami, protect me. <laughs> I'm screaming, Swami, protect me, all the way fucking to the end by the fence and shit where I fucking hopped in or whatever. If I get to the end, I try to slow down, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still, I was shook, but I'm like, let me try to calm down and slow down towards the end of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Started calming down and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got up out that shit, I'm breathing, I'm like... Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit fucking t 
tears just pouring down my face and shit. You know how you're so scared, like you cry? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm crying, but as soon as I leave the graveyard, I'm walking about a block away, I see a whole petal of roses on the floor and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? The rose petals and shit, some of the flowers still there. I knew that was for me, son. You know what I'm saying? Where that's why me and the Nobis is like tight, son. You know what I'm saying? I knew that shit was for me. You know what I'm saying? I picked some of that shit up, brought it home and whatnot. Word, that was a hell spiritual experience. That was one of the most profound spiritual experiences I ever had. I could feel that there was so much shit around me. And I told you, like, my spirit guides is close by. I hear that sound. Yo, I was the loudest I ever heard that sound. So it was like I knew I could feel everything. I couldn't see shit, but felt everything. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you got the feeling somebody's watching you. Plus, I got this sound going off in my ear. Like, super loud. So, I'm like, oh, there must be some crazy shit here. Like, I'm <laughs> Word, B. But, I get up the next day, son. Nigga, I feel like I am not afraid of anything, B. Like, I felt like, nigga, like, I, I was ready to fucking put a put a fucking move on, son. Like, I had the fire up underneath me, B. Like, shit changed after that day. <sighs> Boy, damn, the shit changed after that day, son. The fire got up underneath me. I got, like, four jobs, my nigga. I had, like, four jobs running my own business. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stacking. Got my own place. You know what I'm saying? Word. I manifested that shit. You know what I'm saying? Worse, and that shit, that shit, it made me lose my fear. But and then a lot of times, we be having fear too, like when we be trying to go up into the next level of this shit. I was born into this shit, like, it's natural for me, because I've been doing it from before. But some people, like, brand new souls on the earth and shit like that, trying to learn this information, and because of the movies and all that shit, it tends to make you a little scary. You know what I'm saying? So those exercises, I, I, those exercises that I was doing in the past, like to um, those small, like the, being in the closet. You know what I'm saying? Being in a room with when it's all dark. That kind of helped me in my spiritual process, like doing like spiritual rituals and researching different subjects and shit, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That kind of eliminated my fear from that. You know what I'm saying? But the graveyard, like just totally removed fear from me, like, completely, son, you know what I'm saying? And that's a good exercise to do, you know what I'm saying? Just to remove fear, you know what I'm saying? Where, with all this shit going on and all this, you know what I'm saying? Crazy shit right now. We're gonna leave that one there, you know what I'm saying? Rap mythology, the reincarnation of Ramakrishna, a yoga empath, kicking that brand new flavor in your ear. Peace. <laughs>